Hi, I'm Ian and I'm the Lonely Chef. And we have a fabulously funny show for you in the next half an hour. At the end of the show, there's a number and I want you to jot it down and, and call me because, well, I'm single and I'm looking for a date and possibly a relationship and who knows, maybe even marriage. I'm looking to meet somebody special. I'm fabulously wealthy. I want to settle down and I want to share this wealth with that special person and just live happily ever after. So enjoy the show and hopefully we'll meet. Until we do, goodbye. Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> I do happen to lie an awful lot. <laughs> Lonely, I've been searching for so long. Lonely, only hoping you're the one who will change my life and make these dreams come true. Well, I got to tell you something. Yes, see, I'm holding here the one millionth fan letter <laughs> to the lonely chef. <laughs> oh, smells exotic. Shall I open it? Yeah. You want to know what's inside it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's actually uh, addressed kind of wrong. It says, uh, the phony chef. <laughs> now, please write in. All of your letters are answered because, well, I read every, I make a point of reading every single letter because, well, I don't have anything else to do. I don't have any dates, so I sit down and I read my letters. Uh, well, let's open it, shall we, and see what's in here. It's from England. It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Dear Phony Chef, <laughs> Since watching your program on TV, I have slept with your photograph under my pillow every night. <laughs> my friends call me Rosie, and although small, I'm perfectly formed, and those I work with say I have a lovely nature. <laughs> my one ambition is to spend the rest of my life with you in a little cottage with roses around the door. <laughs> sitting with my embroidery and listening to your bacon frying in the morning mist. <laughs> right soon, uh, Cyril Flintstone, Sergeant, U.S. Marine Corps. Hmm. Well, anyway, please do write in. There's an address at the, uh, at the end of the show, and, and I'd love to get your letters. Uh, we are going to have a very interesting show today. I have a date with... Uh, a laughter therapist, and I'm not quite sure what a laughter therapist does, except I met her when I was extremely depressed because, um, well, I uh, just had my heart broken several times after I jumped from a plane about 15,000 feet and my chute failed to open. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes and uh, <laughs> we'll cook up some pork and jalapenos. Stay right with us. We'll be right back. Now, we are going to cook up one of the most delicious meals that I have cooked up in the last 
or 40 years of my cooking experience. Uh, when I was with British Intelligence, uh, uh, you have to go to school for 40 years before you get the coveted uh, court jester, <laughs> before you get the coveted court jester costume which says that you can now cook for the Queen. And talking about the Queen, let me tell you, I can tell some stories because when I was cooking for her, and not a lot of people know this, but she was really into pork. Um, I had to go, <laughs> it's true, I had to go to countries like Africa and India and Russia and hunt down these wild boar that I actually had to kill with my bare hands and stuff and bring back because that's what the royals expect, you know, they expect this kind of thing. Now, the favorite dish was this pork and jalapenos, but this is not what you think. It is not a jalapeno pepper because in my function as a cook for the queen, I was also her protector for her and the royal family. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely true. But this is actually a hand grenade and to activate it, yes, you pull, you pull this off, that's like the equivalent of the pin, you put your finger on it and if you didn't put your finger on it, it would explode in about four seconds. Now, to deactivate it, and only people at British Intelligence know this, you have to put your jalapeno grenade into your ear and the acidic reaction of the earwax against the skin of the jalapeno sort of makes it all work and deactivate the mechanism. And there we go, and hopefully it won't explode. <laughs> now I learned this after in fact the palace did explode and I got expelled and well I was tossed out of the palace and all I could do was laugh and she thought I had an evil laugh, so. <laughs> the last time, yes, it's scary. The last time I heard that was when my father said exactly the same thing. He used to give me swimming lessons. And every time he used to throw me in the water, I would fight my way out of the sack and make my way up to the surface <laughs> and uh, laugh. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so let's get these into the, uh, the pan here. Uh, <clears throat> so we brown these for just a couple of minutes. Get them nice and brown on each side. Oh, that's kind of hot, so let's turn that down a touch. I've got some burners and I've got some water going there. Now I'm going to put some rice in and we'll get that ready. I have the rice here and we'll move over here and just put this in. And it's one cup of rice, one cup of water. Very easy to remember. Now we have to prepare the little bits and pieces that we put in here. So we'll take some garlic. Now as you know I'm not particularly keen on garlic presses so what I like to do is just uh, Take a couple of chunks of garlic like this, take my big knife and just very easily squish and s squish. <laughs> hey, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, for the most part it works pretty good. And the skin usually comes off pretty easily and we just shake that loose. That's about all we need there. And we take that garlic and we just throw that in just like that into the pan here. Mm. Oh, I wish you could be here. Oh, oh, it's so romantic. But I am depressed. I'm not supposed to laugh because I am having a date with a laughter therapist. She is going to delve into my inner being and see exactly what evil looks in my laugh. Anyway, let's just turn this off. I need a fork real quick. Let's see if I've got something here. Here we go. Now look at these here. Ooh, doesn't that look good? The smell of that garlic is just uh, permeating this kitchen. Mm. This is all you need to do, just a quick brown like this. You don't want to overcook these things. Now, we've got the garlic in there. What we're also going to do is to get some dill. <laughs> this is what they do in Finnish saunas. Ooh, that kind of hurts. Anyway, we'll take a chunk of this and we're just going to put some fresh dill in there. And this dill is from my garden in Washington where I have over 30,000 acres <laughs> planted in just nothing but dill. So we take that and we just throw that into the pan. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> oh, scrumptious. All right, now we get the jalapeno peppers. Now, these little babies are hot, and um, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, jalapeno peppers are actually not named correctly because they should be called hyena peppers. <laughs> you see, my, my great-great-granddad, who uh, helped guide Livingstone through the African jungles... Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. Anyway, he uh, helped guide them through the, uh, the jungles, and um, one night when they were around the campfire, uh, everyone was asleep except my great-great-granddad, and um, they... Uh, <coughs> the hyenas uh, actually came up, and they... Uh, ate part of Dr. Livingstone. And they started to laugh. Ha, 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 ha. That's how a hyena laughs. Ha, 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 ha. Which is part of this program and is absolutely silly, but I, go, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But anyway, these are the peppers, and um, they should be called hyena peppers. Well, we just take up some little bits and pieces here of uh, peppers. And... We just take that and we throw that also into the pot here. Mmm, delicious. Now, what we also do, just to add a little color, and I don't know if you know this, but maybe a lot of English people know this, but, uh, you know, they have really big breakfasts in England, and uh, one of the nicest smells that you could ever imagine is the smell of tomatoes frying. So, we're going to put these in here, and... We are going to get set for this gorgeous lady to come through the door and tell me how evil I am. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Come on in, come nice on in. Nice meet. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. This is come on in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Now, you were so desperate. I rushed over because I know how sad you are these days. And uh, thank you for phoning. We're, can we begin? Yes, right okay. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, um, you know, you just sounded desperate. Here, yes. you need something to hold. Oh. A nice bear. Thank you. Thank Silly. you. That's I have I'm... not laughed, Catherine. I. I Yes, I, I, I'm cooking up a nice meal for uh -huh. us. I thought we would be able to talk a little more over a meal, but oh, well. I have not laughed in months. I am so depressed. Oh, oh you're really, it's really bad, is it? Yes. Can you give me a sampling of, of your laugh and we'll, we'll work on it? I, I, I okay. will bring this up. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you do need help. It, oh, you've got, this is perfect. Ian, what you need is to learn to laugh at yourself first. Okay, take a, can you, can you... <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> can, you, can you laugh at yourself, Ian? I don't think I can laugh at this. Oh, no. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, okay, well, we'll put that away. Maybe it was, I know, you didn't play with dolls as a child, did you? No, I didn't. No, no this no. is the problem. This is, and so what I bought for you is you have to regress and become a child again. And you, you need your Barbies. Well. <laughs> Will that make you laugh? Um, <laughs> it'll make me smile, that's for sure. Uh, you now, couldn't get one about 30 years old. Uh. Well, she's 25. That, oh. and, and this is to pretend, you see. You can pretend Ken and Barbie. How does that I'm, work? I'm really not that okay. kind of no. guy. Um, <laughs> no, no, you have to pretend the date first. You have to imagine. You well, yes, thing? okay, I can imagine. Yes, uh, one guy, two girls. Um, <laughs> Very interesting, yes. That uh, does bring a lot of things to, to mind, yes. No, you're not laughing enough. We'll get straight to the laughter. How's that? Can okay. we, do we have time on the floor to... We have to get you on the floor. This is, this is best. We need to li lighten you up. Just 
here, you sit right here. Sit right here. Yeah, knee, can you cross your knees? Is no. That, oh, <laughs> well, it's best if you can, but you know, we want to sort of go like the little yogis, you know? The ones, they, they weigh nothing because they don't eat. Right. And they, and they rock back and forth like this. <laughs> now, Ian, be with me, please. <laughs> I am with you. I okay. am with you. I... You're, you're a human being trapped in a man's body. I know it's, it's <laughs> tough. But... <laughs> okay, you just, and then you go. <laughs> hey, this works. Yeah. You're as silly as I am. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Now, put your legs out like this. Oh, sometimes okay. the body remembers when we were kids. Right, okay. You see, and when we were little kids, this is how we used to laugh, and the body remembers that. So we just have to go back to when we were little kids and, I see. and laugh. So, And what happens with the laughter is it just relaxes you. You don't need that wine anymore because you're totally relaxed, and then you can be creative, and then maybe you can cook. Well, I think that we <laughs> should... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. funny. That's funny. <laughs> so, so the, art, the art of laughter is regression. That's what you're that, saying. Well, <laughs> in your case, maybe. Yeah. Yes, right. Okay, so okay. we're going to just go back to when we were kids and just rock back. Knee slap and put your head back. Okay? No, no, your knee. Dude. Oh, my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's keep this professional. <laughs> and then you just, no, 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 like this thing. Like, see? Rock back and forth. And then try the ha 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 <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, come, come, eat, uh, yeah. cook, cook. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, we're ready. Let's to get cook back out. to the well, kitchen was, here because was... this stuff may burn if I don't look after it pretty yeah. quick. Oh, so this is lovely. You know, you hey. can't. You need to eat on a. You need food to laugh. It does help. I mean, laughter yeah. is a wonderful thing. How long have you been doing this? Cooking with you about no. 30 seconds. I've never no, I mean, done this uh, laughter before. Therapy. Oh, laughter therapy. Well, for about four years. Yeah. I studied in the States with a gal, Dr. Goodhart, in California. And uh, she helps with teaching us to laugh. Wholesome, good laughter to go with wholesome well, good food. Well, you know, laughter, is, uh, you've made me really hot here. You've sort of. Uh... <laughs> oh, not me. It's just your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I'm going to laugh for that. Just go. Tee -hee. All right. Tee -hee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to throw in some vegetables here, and we're going to have this uh, 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 <coughs> dish of uh, hot peppers here hot, hot. Uh, with the rice. Now you stay right hot, here and hot, watch this. Hot, hot peppers. And we should have some music, I think, because that is romantic with laughter. Exactly. I've got my little controller oh, here, and we'll just. Swan Lake. Now, doesn't that sound nice? Oh, this is perfect. Now, That's all you wonderful. have to do is just practice that laugh while you're cooking. I will practice that laugh. I'm sure laugh. your food will taste better if you laugh while you cook. What and do you like most in a man? Like a deep laugh or a oh, high laugh? The, or? Um, a deep, deep laugh, right from the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, well, no, no, that's not genuine, oh, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're trying to fake it till you make it, right? Well, that's <laughs> that's been the problem with my that's been the problem with my dating life. <laughs> anyway, well, I think what you have to do is just just follow me. Do you ever have a moment when you're cooking where it's tense and there's a lot of stress and you need to release the stress while you're cooking? Well, that's the whole purpose with the meal uh, to um, relieve stress and tension and. Um, no. So has nice... anything gone wrong here that we can tee hee or ha <laughs> ha about? You have this evil laugh that you told me about on the phone. You were quite concerned about that. Well, that is true. It is yeah. true. I, I do have an evil laugh, and it's uh, well, I think that it's something that uh, I inherited from uh, my great grandfather, who was, uh, I think I was mentioning about the jalapeno peppers, who was in Africa oh, yeah. with can Livingston. Can we cut to the chase here? Oh. And <laughs> okay, so it's the um, you just go ha 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 right ha ha. <laughs> I feel yeah. like Elvis Presley. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then from that, you just move it down into your belly. See, so you go, ha ha, 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 ha
And That's what uh, I'm doing. This is it's very interesting. I mean, so I, I, I you can really... either have a woman or laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Take your choice. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I want the other. <laughs> oh, well, you just go to him. Women to him. Just go. Just go. Women to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you feel better now? Absolutely marvelous. Right, right. See, Listen. all you need is food and laughter. And <laughs> all right, let me, just take, let me just take 30 seconds here because I just want to uh, whip this stuff up here and we'll serve up this beautiful dinner oh, for you. Oh, that's lovely. And um, what we're going to do is just get this uh, bed of rice out here. Uh, we will put these... Uh, is this burning? Uh, no, it's That's absolutely That's where you wonderful. go, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we'll be back in just a second with this delicious, wonderful looking meal here. It's pork and jalapenos, uh, deliciously prepared in dill oh, and uh, love garlic. Dill. It's love absolutely dill. wonderful. This is perfect. Be back in just a second. <laughs> This wonderful meal that I've prepared for you. This is uh, pork uh, loins with uh, jalapeno peppers on a bed of rice with uh, peppers and tomatoes. It's so simple to prepare. It's covered with dill and a little garlic and uh, it's just absolutely wonderful. So why don't you looks, have a seat and we'll dig into this. It looks wonderful. There you go. Thank you. Oh, mm. let me, I bought a special wine. Oh. It's just, it's a laughter wine. Oh, a laughter wine. Right. It's bubbly. Bubbly. Yeah. Hmm. But I'll need my salad too. Oh, and your little right. salad right. Uh, bowl, your laughter salad. This is what they right. call a laughter salad. Right. This is going to be absolutely terrific. Oh, here, here now we what go. you want to do is just, you know, we have to laugh at our pain and play with it. So what you're going to do is just blow some bubbles and hit the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> now, anything that aggravates you, like GST, <laughs> lousy drivers. <laughs> the reason I'm not king is that I cannot blow a bubble properly. <laughs> Can you not blow a bubble? <laughs> you did it. Is that this delicious? This is absolutely wonderful. I think that you, you are bringing a service that more people should have because laughter, I think, is one of the best weapons against the pain of the world. That's so right. keep up the good work. Thank you. Well, let's dig into some other wine okay. <laughs> and some of this delicious Did, meal. I thought we were having fish, so I bought you this. <laughs> Oh, oh, I've got my little, there, uh, fish, nose, my little right. fish nose. Hey, and, terrific. If you, <laughs> and if, if you're feeling crabby, <laughs> just wear your crabby nose. <laughs> and I'll laugh. put that down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Where are those bubbles? We need more bubbles. For a copy of the Lonely Chef cookbook or a videotape of how you can be my guest on the show, or to join our Chefs Club where you could meet someone special on one of our romantic getaway parties, call 1-800-665-CHEF and have your credit card ready. If you would like to write to me personally, please send your letter to P.O. Box 740, Everson, Washington, 98247.